If I can have the first slide, please. So always, and that's what this slide is labeled, is goals of community mitigation. Really highlighting that this begins in the middle and the end with community. It is community and the community of the American people that are going to have to do the things for the next 30 days to make a difference. I think you know from that large blue mountain that you can see behind me, and I just want to thank the five or six international and, and domestic modelers from Harvard, from Columbia, from Northeastern, from Imperial, who helped us tremendously. It was their models that created the ability to see what these mitigations could do, how steeply they could depress the curve from that giant blue mountain down to that more stippled area. In their estimates, they had between 1.5 million and 2.2 million people in the United States succumbing to this virus without mitigation. Yet through their detailed studies and showing us what social distancing would do, what, people, what would happen if people stayed home, what would happen if people were careful every day to wash their hands and worry about touching their faces, that what an extraordinary thing this could be if every American followed these. And it takes us to that stippled mountain that's much lower, a hill actually, down to 100 to 200,000 deaths, which is still way too much. Next slide, please. Simultaneously, there was a mo modeler out of the University of Washington that modeled from cases up, utilizing the experience around the globe to really understand how this information that we have from Italy and Spain and South Korea and China could really help us give insight into the hospital needs, the ventilator needs, and really the, the number of people who potentially could succumb to this illness. It is this model that we are looking at now that provides us the most detail of the time course that is possible. But this model assumes full mitigation. It's informed every morning or every night by the reality on the ground coming in from New York, New Jersey, and around the United States, and is modeled and informed every morning so that it is adjusted, so it is up to date every day. This is the model of the predicted um, fatalities and mortality in the United States. And as the President said, it's very much focused on the next two weeks and the stark reality of what this virus will do as it moves through communities. Next slide, please. But this is a slide that gives us great hope and understanding about what is possible. On the bottom of the slide, where you can barely see that blue line at the very bottom, that's the current cases in California, the cumulative cases in California, where they're doing significant testing. The next line up is Connecticut. The orange line is New Jersey. The blue line is New York. The yellow line is Washington. We all remember Washington State. It was just a month ago when they started to have the issues in Washington State, but they brought together their communities and their health providers, and they put in strong mitigation methods and testing. And you can see what the result in Washington State and California is. But without the continuation for the next 30 days, anything could change. Next slide, please. So I'm sure you're interested in seeing all the states. So on this slide is all 50 states and the District of Columbia. But I think it shows in stark reality the difference between New York and New Jersey and other states with similar populations and urban areas. Our goal over the next 30 days is to ensure the states that you see, the 48 across the bottom, maintain this lower level of new cases with the hope that we don't have significant outbreaks in other states and other metro areas as the community comes together to work together and ensure that the healthcare providers around the globe and in the United States are strengthened by our resolve to continue to mitigate community by community. 
this is done community by community. We all know people are in their states and in their communities. And we're very dependent on each person in the United States doing the same thing, following the presidential guidelines to a T. I know it's a lot to ask because you've done it for 15 days. So if you can show the next slide, please. So this is what gives us a lot of hope. This is the case finding in Italy. And you can see that they're beginning to turn the corner in new cases. They're entering their fourth week of full mitigation and showing what is possible when we work together as a community, as a country, to change the course of this pandemic together. It is this graphic and the graphic of many of the states that gives us hope of what is possible with continuing for another 30 days. Amidst all that hope, I must say that like we warned about Detroit and Chicago, we start to see changes in Massachusetts. New Orleans continues to be a problem of new cases, although they're stabilizing. And I think it really shows the depth of dedication of the American people to the healthcare providers because they can see the strain that this puts on every nurse, doctor, respiratory therapist, pharmacist, and laboratory technician that's working together to stem this tide of unrelenting sick people coming to their doors. No one has been turned away. No one who has needed ventilation has not received ventilation. But you can see how stressful it is on it for each of them. So I know it's stressful to follow the guidelines but it is more stressful and more difficult to the soldiers on the front line. As we started and we will end with its communities that will do this, there's no magic bullet, there's no magic vaccine or therapy, it's just behaviors. Each of our behaviors translating into something that changes the course of this viral pandemic over the next 30 days. Thank you. Thank you.